You hear that? Wind through the trees, the trees creaking in the breeze. You can even hear the waves on Lake Superior. They were really crashing the other day. And occasionally you hear somebody going by on the highway. I kind of wonder, do most people have to take pills and lose themselves in some fantasy world or watch TV and be told what to think? Because they're completely disconnected from the natural world outside. Our world's all concrete, steel, glass, other people. Everybody crowded together. <sighs> they don't get to experience this. A little bit of snow falling. The mornings are really nice here. Nobody's driving by. You might think it's isolationist and solitary and lonely, but it's not. It might be for you if you're really dependent on other people and you need validation and attention from others. I just like being in the trees. Or maybe in the wide open plains in the middle of nowhere in Nebraska out in the panhandle. I don't dislike people. I'm not completely antisocial. People in large groups bother me. One on one, meh. I usually get along okay with them. This is our roots. Out in the forests, on the plains. Living among nature. Not in some city crowded together. Everything has to be brought to you. Just can't live like that anymore. Living on air bases and outside of towns, inside of towns, in apartments, dealing with people. After growing up in the middle of nowhere, it was like torture. I just put up with it, dealt with it, endured it. And then as soon as I got a chance, about land out here in the middle of nowhere, not far from Lake Superior, just littered with trees. I think my favorite time of year is spring when all the buds start popping out and, and leaves start coming. It always seems like the winters are so long here, but they're really not. They're long because I can't drive my car until May. <laughs> it's all the salt they put on the roads. Sometimes in April. Last year in April I could get it out, but most times it's May. I don't think I'll ever be able to live in a city and exist in an apartment somebody on the other side of the drywall from me 
You just can't do it. I can't be disconnected from all of this. This is just my backyard. I'm not entirely sure that cities are the best idea. But maybe that's just because that's how I grew up. But I don't need any drugs. I don't need any pills. I don't need any social media telling me, you know, I'm worth it. I matter. I matter to me. I matter to those guys, I think. I'm the guy with the food. The fat guy with the food. I like being disconnected from society to some extent. Still able to interact and converse and talk and share ideas. But I like my alone time. Sometimes I'll just come out and sit at my campfire and just look up at the trees. Start a fire and the snow everywhere. 10 below zero and I'm sitting out there just watching things. It's a peaceful existence and I don't think people realize that that might be what they're missing. They want to push some virtual world on you. When this world is full of enough stuff to keep you busy wandering and exploring finding out learning and it's not somebody else's vision. This is just how it is. Somebody didn't make this world for us. Well, some people believe someone did, but it's not like it's some video game or alternate reality. This is a cool little planet we got. I kind of like it. Been almost all the way around it. Seen deserts and mountains, oceans, lakes, forests, <laughs> wide open plains with nothing in them. Driven for miles and miles. Probably well over a million miles I've driven. Considering how many cars I've put 100,000 miles on, it's probably a pretty good bet. I just like the wind. Even if it's cold out here. It's just above freezing today. The days are really short this time of year. It gets dark about 5. Summertime, it's almost 10 before the sun's completely gone. I just can't do the cities.